Green Bay in the white jerseys, Washington State in the dark grays. And away we go. Same starting lineups for both of these teams as yesterday. Final game of the 2023 Cancun Challenge. Here is the All-American Ledger Walker who opened up this tournament with a triple-double. Yeah, she is so fun court. to watch. Wallach off in the three. Yeah, that triple-double, just the third triple-double in Washington State history. They didn't have any issues that really presented them, any real challenges that Maryland was a threat to win that game. Butler, turn around, rims off. Schultz able to keep it in play, but that hit the back. Mark Tene, power dribble, turned away by Kondrakowicz. And the lion's share of those came from Idaho. She was a standout player for the Vandals. One of the top scorers in the nation these last few years. Tuhin is able to save it. Hunter Walker finds Murakitene, and she... The first Rwandan-born player. Schreiber works to the basket. Off the window, and kept alive by Kathy Schiltz. Third turnover there by Green Bay, so... Haven't been the sharpest offensively here to start this game. Drakowitz, 10 of the shot clock. Here's Westine, the freshman, 11 turnovers per game. And Kondrakowitz all over the loose ball. Here is Westine, the freshman who has shown some Real bright spot, this Cancun challenge. Schiltz flips it inside, Kondrakowicz. I watched Kondrakowicz that whole possession, and she was locked into setting every screen perfectly, making sure she made contact. That time she set a beautiful screen and then quickly rolled to the basket. Ledger Walker on the other end. Genki down the lane, Genki for much of last season when Maddie Try different things, shoot it from the outside, plays fearless inside. She looks comfortable on the court. Spot of three, off the eye. Dyer straight on for the lead. Good ball movement there from Green Bay and the Phoenix have put together a few good strings of possessions here. Baseline penetration and one. Jenna Villa, baseline two. Schultz to the rack. That rattles in. So long and does such a good job at just elevating over defenders. 5'11", Redshirt Jr. Puts her team back up by one. On the feed inside. Six second difference. Shot clock to game clock. First assist to the game for Ledger Walker who also has four points. Anderson, the blow by. Anderson has to readjust. Five seconds to the shot clock. Geyer puts up the long two. That's off the mark. Five seconds. Ledger Walker, the All American, beats the buzzer. And that buzzer beater before to give the Cougars some momentum going into the second quarter. She was a netball national champion in high school. You ever hear of netball? I have. Netball is actually um, a sport popular in Australia. Um, it's a version of basketball where 
Um, there are different rules about when you can move without the ball. There's not as much physical contact. Entry fee. Ms. Butler slices inside the bounce pass. Beautiful change of direction there from Butler and then a bounce pass. That was kind of threading the needle as well. Geyer brings Green Bay back within two, floated inside, and Geyer. She really created that steal. Marcus had a handful to deal with for any team, let alone a team that's undersized like Green Bay. And she gets her hands in the passing lane as well, but McNeil sticks on it. McNeil. Through the basket. A little bit of a mismatch right now for Washington State as McNeil is guarding America Tede. I mean, she should be posting up right now. McNeil not an inch over 5'9. Corner pop. Here's Eleonora Villa. It's an air ball. So. Geyer, straight on three. Geyer posting up hard inside. Merrick Pede went to help on the post up and then quick click pass to Geyer, ready to shoot. Andy Schreiber re-enters for Natalie McNeil for Green Bay. Leading by three, largest lead of the game for the Phoenix. McNeil, kick out, Geyer, the hot hands, Geyer! Geyer, rain and triples for her today, her third of the game. 11 points for Jenna Geyer. She puts her team up by six. Bella, kick out, Ledger Walker from the corner. McNeil, five to shoot. Pull up, off balance. Grims out, and Ledger Walker has her first rebound. Wallach on the inside foul. So Wallach. McNeil. Ten seconds to shoot it. Butler. Driver. Time winding down. Puts up the three. And That's a huge play from Maddie Schreiber. Her first points of the game and clutch basket. I mean, Washington State has been doing such a good job defensively, John. The entirety of yesterday's loss against Maryland. An adjustment for Washington State in the third quarter. It's definitely going to have to be to defend the three. The 7-0 Cougars ranked 23rd of the nation looking to finish this tournament undefeated. Meanwhile, Green Bay at 3-2. and two. Can they pull off the upset? As Butler lets it fly. And a steal by Schultz. Threes and then the heady steal. This is a talented team, the reigning Horizon League champions, the preseason favorites once again. In the Horizon League. Geyer, inside, Schiltz, the footwork, and the fit. Beautiful move by Cashy Schiltz. I mean, she's 5'11", and she used every inch of her length in order to get an advantage on her defender. Green Bay up by seven. Largest lead of the game for either team. Oh, whipped inside. Now Wallach recognized no one was guarding her. Cut right to the basket and a good point guard makes that play every time. Dyer. McNeil. Five to shoot it. Backs in. 
Geyer did not get a shot off. And Washington State a chance to get within one score. 15 second difference, shot clock to game clock. As Villa drives, off the window. And had a health ball as Butler got her paws in there. And that's going to send it down to Green Bay. And they could really hold to the final shot of this first half. Green Bay has one ranked win already this season. The Phoenix took down 22nd ranked Creighton. Just before coming to Cancun. Looking for their second ranked win of the season. Cougars. Chill. Switch to his zone. Three seconds now. Schreiber. Heaves. Deflected by Wallach. You can see right there, 5 of 13. Haven't gone to the free throw line a ton. But also, I'm surprised that they're matching Washington State right now and poison the paint. I would think Washington State would have the advantage in that area. Um, and for Washington State, not shooting it well from beyond the three either. Just 2 of 10. The start of the second half, Washington State in the grays, Green Bay in the white uniforms. And the Phoenix holds a five-point lead. Final 20 minutes of basketball in Cancun. Ooh. McNeil went down hard. Hard collision right there. And McNeil going for the steal. see McNeil back up on her feet. Neil called for a foul in that last collision. It's her first, team's first. Wallach, shot clock winding down. Wallach bounces in. Wallach able to get right through the gap there, get to the logo area. Nice little pull up. Ring Bay, the preseason favorites in the Horizon League, looking for another ranked win as Butler. Backs in. Schreiber swatted by B. And that is taken away by Tuhina. Ledger Walker. Catch and shoot. That falls short. And McNeil goes down as the first team foul as Schreiber. And, and one of five from the field. So she's just been struggling and only her 13. And she heads to the bench as Schreiber hits both. Here is Jenna Villa. Deep three. Good defense by the Phoenix. Just making Washington State look very uncomfortable offensively. Drakowitz. Schiltz now. Timer winding down. Goes to work, rolls in. Wow. Tough move on the interior from Schultz. Straight on three. This time it... Anderson inside. Oh, the fake from Schultz. That... Oh, work smarter, not harder. And Shields with back-to-back. -back. Nice buckets on the inside. A little now you see me, now you don't. That puts Green Bay back up by three. Again, late in the shot clock. Crossover jumper. Butler has the rebound. Drakowitz, hook shot, off the mark, another rebound for Wallach, that is number four. Wallach, wheels inside. Good defense by Kondrakowitz. And Walker, two of the basket. Into third place on the Washington State all-time scoring list. Yeah, it's definitely, it gives you an idea of what the landscape of college basketball can look and that grow up wanting to play for the Phoenix and then Coach Borsett has on. 
Uh, this is probably my favorite. Villa finds the cutting. Ledger Walker, who couldn't handle it. One too many turnovers for the Cougars in the third quarter. They are not getting a shot up every time down the floor. Five point lead for the Phoenix. Corner pop. That doesn't go. Wallach fights for the rebound. So two free throws for Wallach. But... Inside the final minute. Quick shot goes for Bailey Butler as they play the two for one. That's On the really opposite an end. The two for one. Twelve second different shot clock to game clock here. Driver. Pull up. Deflected by Wallach. Chucked ahead. Wallach in transition. Knocked down. And she'll shoot two. First is Cammie Etheridge, looks on, the reigning National Coach of the Year. Has done an unbelievable job in Pullman. Three straight NCAA tournaments. And her team being pushed to the brink today. Butler, Genke, deep three. It's short. Specific play I loved was the Michigan State joiner off of the spin move and the dump down pass to the and one finish from Tate. Uh, it was so hard though to just pick three. It's been a jam packed three days of basketball. It really has. We have seen some exciting finishes, and this one is the makings of another one as Genki starts this fourth with the bang. Corner three, off the iron, offensive rebound for Ledger Walker. Bumped inside, Marika Tede off the win. Well, she's been extremely quiet in this game, John, and now would be a perfect time for her to assert herself in the paint. She should be dominating the paint in this quarter from rebounding standpoint, offensively and defensively, and then scoring in the paint. Green Bay currently leads the rebounding battle. Also tied in paint points. And an errant pass. Ledger Walker. Here is Tuhina. Wallach. Kick out. Straight on three. It's Villa. She can't connect. Green Bay. Nice job defensively packing the paint. Not allowing Marikatete to get a touch. They were so intentional at making sure she saw multiple players around her. And Kondrakowicz works the glass for two. Time for the largest lead of the game for Green Bay. Villa, driving dish, Ledger Walker. Short of the three, a loose ball foul. And that's going to head down to Green Bay. If it's Merck at Pete, it is her fourth. Well, she knows that she's got to settle her stuff down here. Driver. Here is McNeil. Battles inside. McNeil! Yeah, and that time McNeil got the matchup she wanted. She had Tahina guarding her, which is a guard, not as much size. She can easily take her and post her up. An air ball from Ledger Walker. Save momentarily. Yeah, I mean, this team is bouncing back from a loss yesterday to Maryland. And give a credit to Coach Borseth and just the women on the court right now. They have made the adjustments. They look confident. They look under control. Their defense has made adjustments as well. And they're not trying to leave Cancun and haven't dropped two in a row. So they're giving it their best effort here. And 
Washington State, if they're not careful, they will get upset. Underneath, Schreiber. Wow, beautiful mouth pass there in the lane. And then Schreiber, such a smart player, uses the up fake to get the defender up out of the air. Ledger Walker. Ten seconds to shoot. Tahina. Back to Ledger Walker. Mercatene spins off the window. Great post defense there by Kadrakowicz. She has had her hands full today when Mercatene has been in the game, but she has been handling her. Five points for Mercatene. Schreiber left wide open. 13 points. Good defense. So now if you're Washington State, you got to start about scoring quickly a little bit and getting some really good shots early and then crashing the offensive board. High low game. Wallach flips it in. Washington State stays in the zone. Four seconds to shoot it. McNeil off balance. That's a shot clock by... There's Ledger Walker. Cross court, Wallach. Back to the All-American. Wallach, give and go. That's beautiful basketball. Yes, it is. Ledger Walker passed that ball and then cut to the elbow. She didn't stop and stand. She made herself available and her and Wallach work very good together. Four row mini run here for Washington State within single digits. Butler from way downtown. Oh, Bailey! Cross court. Corner pop. Big three for the Cougars. Eleanor Villa. Yeah, Cougars got to pressure though a little bit more if they're still going to try to make a run and win this game. Now they've got to get up in pressure. Back door, McNeil all alone. Timeout. It's undefeated season on the line. Tahina. Step back for three. An air ball. Inside the final minute. And Green Bay looks like it will pull off a second top 25 upset victory. And Butler loses it. Here comes Wallach. Down the lane. Misses on the layup. And Wallach commits the foul. So Green Bay led by Kevin Borseth, his 37th season overall, 21st year at Green Bay. This will be his 798th career win. A guy who started out at the Juco ranks coaching, where he also coached in a minimum security prison. Led the inmates on their pickup games, and then when teams would come into the prison to play them, he was their coach, and now has become one of the winningest coaches in college basketball history. 20th most wins. This will be 798. But the story today is all about his players. 59-48. Green Bay. The upset win over Washington State.